at the trailhead of Specimen Ridge. We're gonna hike up in for about a mile that way, then drop down in and hit the, hit the Yellowstone River for the day. We're dropping in there. Yeah. Well, that's cool because this is, here's the area. Oh, okay, we're not even close. Good. All right, we've reached our highest elevation for this hike. There's the view behind us. The top of Specimen Ridge, we're about to drop right down behind us. And you can see the Yellowstone River as it comes out of the uh, Grand Canyon of the Yellowstone. Hey Joe, glad to be back down here on the Likewise. Yellowstone with you. This is awesome, isn't it? it is. Before we get started today, as we're suiting up and gearing up, just want to give you a little fly fishing life hack. All right, what is that? If you're ever in the situation where you lose your real case, okay, and at the same time or in the same period of time, you also lose one of your gloves, okay, your spare solo glove makes for an excellent real case. Watch this. See that? You just put your reel in your glove. Now this glove has a purpose and this reel has a case. You've just changed everything for me. Wow, that's a nice thing. Now that is a Yellowstone cutthroat. All right, we're back, Joe. Didn't take long. Oh, this is so Literally awesome. first or second cast on the on the Prince Nymph. She's such a beautiful fish. <laughs> Look at that. Yeah. Hey, Joe, right, you've gotten go. both species Woo. of yellow uh, cutthroats out here. All right, now Eric's in on the action. Prince Nymph seemed to be the ticket today. Yeah. Nice little cutthroat, not bad be beginning. Good job, bud. Got your finger too, didn't he? Oh yeah, he got me with the drop fly right in the top of the finger. <laughs> Joe's upstream, putting on a little clinic. You can uh, see him landing one there. But if you uh, pan back around and down river, you'll notice that I, as well, have found myself a nice golden cutthroat. So, so uh, these fish are taking Prince Nymphs, so. You tied I put, two on. I just put on two. Tied on two, and, uh, and look at this, folks. It's working. There are two fish on each fly. On each, on fly. each fly. Look at that. That is ridiculous. Uh, let's net them both. There's one, and there's two. This is uh, doubles at its best. Joe literally caught himself doubles here. Look at that. Doubles, oh. there goes one, there's the other. All right, we may have brought Eric over to the dark oh, side. He had to grab a hold of Joe's uh, Euro rod. He went out there, literally one or two casts, and then he says, what, it's this easy? Ah, uh, this is awesome moment. Captured on film, and that's a, that's a pretty good sized fish too. Yeah, right, right there. Oh, you don't have to that's a good fish. Joe's coming in for the landing. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> we got him. <laughs> Documenting Eric Weller's first fish check nymphing. Little surgery going on here, holding it up for us. There we go. All right. What do you think? That is totally ridiculous, really easy. <laughs> that was awesome. Well, that's, that's very disappointing. That was a big fish. Did not get him in. 
But as Joe adequately said to lift my spirits, it's only 1230. We got another six hours of this. Plenty of time for another hog. Well, not quite six hours has gone by, but maybe six minutes. The fish isn't as big. There we go. Beautiful. Yeah, that makes you feel better after losing a big fish, doesn't it? <laughs> it's always a good day when you bend a blowtorch. That could very well be why that big fish got off my, got off my line. A bent blowtorch right there. I think it got off. I caught my leg. <laughs> All right, that last clip, that was a snag, not a fish. But now I'm gonna catch a fish. That's how you do it. It's been an excellent day of fishing so far. Only two hours into our day. It's about one o'clock and it's lunchtime. And for lunch today on the stream side menu, some foil wrapped Miner's Saloon Cook City Combo Pizza with jalapenos added. The only thing that this stream side lunch is missing, Jameson, is you and some Grateful Dead. All right, the uh, after lunch menu is cutthroat. Yeah. The bite is still on. Exactly. Joe just moved upstream and found us another spot to fish. Very nice. All right, let's get him back, get in, him the back in the water. Joe to the rescue. Joe gave Eric the line for the hole. Eric went out, literally first, second cast, into one. So far, all the fish out of this hole have been really nice. Oh, yeah, they are. Looks like a good fish again. Oh, I might foul hook I don't know. Oh, there he went. Hey, buddy. Look here, what do you think about that? What first Forrest Gump says, it happens. <laughs> all right, the after lunch bite has been good to all of us. Earlier we had doubles from a distance, but right at the moment, Joe's netting one behind me, coming up forward. Uh, I don't know, I these fish- have you? Usually you These a fish bigger. might be about the same uh, size. Finally. Uh, again, I Aggie. think I got you again, Gosh. buddy. <laughs> Time to go for number 10. I figured out why they call this fly the shop back because this is literally sucking them up from the bottom. Well, Euro nymphing has been exceptional today. Indicator fishing has proved successful today. You know what time it is now, don't you? It is streamer time. So when I was up on Slough Creek finishing up my day in the second meadow yesterday, I found the perfect rock to just sit down and recline in. And now here I am on the Yellowstone River getting ready to rig up my streamer rod. And as I look down, I find the perfect rock in the shape, perfect shape 
of a chair. I must say that I've been fairly lucky this week finding rocks that serve suitably as furniture. I know what you're thinking's coming next. Augie's gonna make a video of himself threading his fly line up through each of the eyelets. But I'm gonna skip, skip that today. Big fish demand big flies. Now ordinarily when I would start streamer fishing, I would start off with a, a nice big articulated streamer like this one. But since I'm in Yellowstone National Park and articulated streamers are illegal, makes for a perfect opportunity to put on my all-time favorite streamer, the Butt Monkey. And the Butt Monkey never disappoints. Well, I'm a half mile upstream. No, I left my streamer box down by where I filmed the Butt Monkey video. So here I go on another hike. I bet that streamer box is sitting right next to my little rock chair. Hey buddy. Yes. These guys are looking a bit ominous. Yes, they are. Yeah. Not only that, but did you see that grizzly print? Yes, I did. Down on that gravel bar? Yep. Yeah. Things are literally getting a bit shady. <laughs> Spooky. And these are an additional sign that we are probably not in a good place. Well, within the last five minutes, we've got a storm coming in behind us. We have bear tracks all around us. I think it's time to go find Joe. Let's go find Joe. All right, we got doubles here. All's that needs a net. Oh, that's a nice fish, Eric. Ugh. All right, Joe, get yours in. Eric and Joe pulled off doubles. Nice, bud. Good job, look here, guys. <laughs> Very well done, go ahead and put them back. Lovely. My buddy Eric netted the fish for me. Looks like uh, Joe might have one on down there as well. We got doubles. We got doubles. Oh, he got a rock. Lift that baby up for me, buddy. There we go. That is another cutthroat for the books. Looking good. All right, it's getting towards evening here. Eric and I are hiking back downstream. Joe's just behind us. We're walking through a bit of timbers, which is explains why my rod, why my rod just got tangled up. This is always a scary, scary portion of hiking Yellowstone when you're walking through the timbers. And so you usually kind of have to grunt loud, right Eric? And carry this. Carry bear mace and do things like this. Hey bear, hey bear, hey bear, hey bear. Coming through. so you come through the timbers and then as you come out of the timbers all of a sudden you're on what's called the sulfur beds just a giant sulfur bed literally it's like walking into another world we've hiked all the way downstream we're actually in a bit of a canyon uh, we're just below where we hiked in, and so our goal this evening is that all three of us would uh, land another fish, and then uh, we're going to hike back up that incline uh, to Specimen Ridge Trail uh, before calling it a night. So here we go, three more fish and we're done. Got Joe out of the way. Good job, bud. Quick release, that counts though. All right, Joe was first on the board. I switched back to my Euro Nymph rig. That's my last fish of the day. Now we gotta get Eric one to one. All right, yeah, we got him. Ow! Smile. Smile, friends. 
pretty close to 100 fish day. I know between you and I, we've had at least 50. Joe, 50 on his own. That's a 100 fish day.